We begin tonight with the latest developments on the coronavirus pandemic. New numbers released today show the number of people hospitalized in our state has dropped for the 12th day in a row. And this means Connecticut is inching closer to reopening. Let's take a look at where we stand right now. There are more than 30,000 confirmed cases here in our state. More than 2,500 people have passed away and more than 1,400 patients are currently in the hospital. If the numbers continue to move in this direction, the state remains on track to partially reopen on the 20th. But today, concerns are emerging from within the Democratic Party that the 20th may be too soon. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live with both sides of this debate. Matthew. Yeah, Aaron, you know, when it comes to reopening, that's the debate that's playing out all across the country. You see people protesting. They want to reopen right now. Others want to wait longer. And a Democratic senator who also happens to be a doctor, he's one of them. I've got some of the best scientific minds uh, in the state who are advising us on what we can do when and how we can do it safely. Governor Lamont invited Dr. William Pettit, a Republican state rep from Plainville, and Dr. Saud Anwar, a Democratic senator from South Windsor, to give their insights into the fight against the coronavirus. The discussion turned to reopening. We can do what we're doing that is begin to have plans to reopen but have to do it cautiously so we don't see a resurgence. Dr. Anwar and, uh, went a step further. While I know your vision is to have May 20th to be opening time. I'm a little bit concerned from a medical point of view for that. It appears Connecticut is on track to meet the governor's criteria for reopening. We're heading toward 14 straight days of declines in hospitalizations. Today it was announced that a big shipment of protective gear is coming from the federal stockpile. Testing capacity is also increasing and hospital capacity is not being pushed to the limit. So we wanted to know why May 20th is too early in the eyes of the doctor. This disease spreads like fire and, and it, uh, only it's going to take about 10 to 20 or 30 patients to overwhelm any hospital. Anwar is also closely watching states that have already reopened, like Georgia. Uh, I am unfortunately anticipating a big resurgence of illness in that region, and, and I want to have the Connecticut people follow some scientific basis rather than an emotional need. Governor Lamont remains steadfast. After talking with doctors on the state and federal level, he's confident in these benchmarks announced last week, and he wants to push forward. We'll have greatly ramped up our testing, so I'll have a little early intel in terms of where some of those flare-ups could be. And uh, to be blunt about it, if you uh, find on uh, May 27th that we've had some flare-ups and it looks like the nail salons are risky, we can always throttle it back, but I hope we don't have to do that. Now, Dr. Anwar eventually gave reasons to be hopeful. He says the abilities doctors have to manage the disease is getting better because they get more experience as each day goes by. And right now, hospital capacity is not an issue.